Hey guys, Magno Borgo here, and today we'll present ConfUI for Nuke. It's a bridge to link ConfUI prompts from inside Nuke to ConfUI interface and generate prompts and do image manipulation in general with Stable Diffusion. You need just to add this to your, you know, to plugin add path. Just add this folder that you will download to the plugin add path on your init PI. And this will assume that you have a ConfUI running. So when you run ConfUI, usually you have a server here that you will run from your uh, browser. So when we go to Nuke, you will have the ConfUI node on your tab, and then you need to set up the server address, which is the same that you saw over there. And you need to also set up the ConfUI directory, which is this one for me the directory where ConfUI was installed. Why? Because we need to access the input and output folder, which is where we have the images saved from Nuke there, and also the rendered images are all inside the output folder. This is probably customizable, and you can run other nodes inside ConfUI that probably can save on different paths, but for now, I'm keeping very simple. Input folder, output folder inside ConfUI, ConfUI installation. Okay, so let's try to run ConfUI here. My ConfUI is running on the prompt. And uh, we have first basic workflow. Basic workflow is simple, stable diffusion generation. So if I visualize the node, I'm generating a 512 by 512 pixel images. And I using the basic workflow, which you, it's basically this one. It's the most basic workflow. You have a positive prompt, a negative prompt, and a sampler with parameters, which are exposed here. So let's run burning fire. And there we go, we have a burning fire. It's all random, right? You, you have the seed here, which is minus one, it's random. And every single generation will create a new image with burning fire. So you need to learn how to create prompts and drive the prompts with the words and all the images are created here inside the output folder. You can see here are my last generated images. So this is the basic workflow where you can create any prompt. A cute kitty. Let's run the prompt. So that's exactly the same as running this one, this workflow. These basic workflows were created and uh, I created like translations for some basic workflows so I can send from Nuke to the server and then receive the image back from the server. There's a read here inside the, the ConfUI node that reads the last image from the output folder automatically. It's the same as reading this. If you want to create some customized workflows, you might need to create the translation. It's not too difficult, but you need to know about gizmos and Python. When you are inside ConfUI, you can save in the API format any workflow that you have and I can try to use this inside Nuke, right? So let's show some stuff here because it's pretty fun. So here I have an image and I cropped it because if you send two big images, you might crash the server or you might get in trouble. Uh, 1024 by 1024, 512 by 512, this kind of sizes that uh, are usual on the stable diffuse world nowadays. Okay, you can try like 2K images, yes. It might take a while to process and you can get good results, but that all depends on your GPU, memory, and some constraints on the hardware. So it's not our fault, it's the stable diffusion, state of art. So usually if you have a big image, it's better if you crop it before trying some advanced workflows. With this guy, I want to create a prompt and I want to drive this based on a mask. So for example, I have this mask on the hair and I will change the workflow here to in painting. So in painting, we will use the mask to apply my, my workflow. And here I will say a blonde curly hair. And then I will run this. It will save the images, save the masks, and then it will bring back the hair. Yeah, not great. Let's uh, let's try again. Sometimes you know the random seed generation won't be in our favor. So this was before, 
and this is after. So in painting, it's pretty fun. And if you learn how to create good prompts, you can get some pretty good results. Let's do a mustache here. So I have a mustache shape, and then I will do... And, and remember, if you want to take this image, you just... I probably will need to make a, like a load image or something, but uh, you can get from the output folder, bring this here, you know, and then just swap. So now I want curly mustache. Let's try it and check the result. Yeah, let's try again. I, I didn't like this one. <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty fun. So yeah, it, it, it's super easy to use the paint. It's probably one of the most useful, useful, uh, you know, setups. And let me show you something else here. By the way, there's two super nice stuff that you can do with ConfiUI. If you drag any image generated, you can load that workflow inside ConfiUI and can do further editions. Like all the, all the things that I did on the last image, I just dragged the image there and you can load, reload all this workflow here. So you can do, do some different stuff and you can save a workflow for later or add more nodes here, customize this, and uh, it's pretty fun. Or if you want to use one of these, uh, you know, basic workflows that I'm providing, you can drag the workflow directly over there. Let's try, let's try the control net. Control net is pretty fun. So control net, I have a kitty here, and the control net we use the lines of this kitty to create another prompt. On this case, a tiger. Let's do this, just this. So what I'm creating here is this Kenny edge, which is basically a, a filter that generates these lines, which is called Kenny. And when you run this script, it will create an image based on this structure and these colors, kind of, to, to generate the new image. So you can see, based on this exactly structures, it created Tiger. So you can drive, uh, you know, some of the lines of the image to follow the previous structure or something like that, which is uh, pretty fun. Let's try uh, a fox. Cute. There you go. You have a cute fox with the same image structure. So this is the control net workflow. So anytime you generate a prompt here, you can save this. Oh, sorry. You can save and then you can load this later to continue. And also, from the last generated prompt, you can import this inside ConfiUI for Nuke. So you have load from history. Let me close this. And uh, if you visualize this now, it has the prompt from here. And from these parameters, this will use uh, these parameters to generate images. It will not update the prompts, but it will use like these structures, uh, sorry, these, all these nodes and reuse this to generate something. So let's try a curly mustache with the lines of the face. I, I don't know what will happen. Maybe some crazy stuff will happen. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. Because it's using the canny lines from the face to generate a curly mustache. Maybe the prompt is not best, you know. Now it will probably try to match, you know, the lines of the face. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> so there's, a, there's some learning curve to this, but uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty fun. And also depends on the generated Kenny image. So maybe you can uh, also customize this Kenny image and, you know, do some lines here to drive the image that you want. But uh, sometimes depending on the image that you have, there's no, not enough contrast and stuff that we will allow you to, to generate something so perfect. You know, I, I think that from using from uh, in painting will probably be one of the best ones for use for Nuke. You know, also general basic Im image generation. And there's also image to image where it will take the image, basically color from the image that will drive another image, which is also pretty fun. Let's see what will happen here. Yeah, you see, it kind of try to match some features and colors. You can see, generate a lot of, and then you need to do like 
negative prompts that say, I don't want stylized it, I don't want cartoon, you know, and you need to drive these prompts better to get nice results. But you see, uh, it tries to match, it, match it the eyes, the ear position, mouth position, you know, it's pretty interesting. So yeah, that's a quick overview of ConfiUI for Nuke. I'm still developing this. If you have any ideas, maybe any features or workflows that you want to incorporate, let me know. And if you have any nice uses for it with success, let me know. I will be very happy to see people using this uh, and having fun. Thanks for watching.